right, right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome again to another Culture Awareness Podcast episode, right? Episode or episode uh, in French, right? So, uh, today we will talk about uh, us. Us by us, I mean you, right? Like, uh, what makes you tick, what makes you talk, but more importantly, I'm not going to go straight out motivation speaker, motivational speaker on you, but I'm going to say this, right? You become what you think about all the time, right? Because we have people that are always visualizing horror movie and things like that and things that, oh, it's just a movie won't have any impact on them. No, you become what you think about all the time. If all the time you're thinking about depression, like life is not going well and, uh, oh, you're crying on yourself and things like that, guess what? It's going to happen even more right it's going to happen even more why because you become what you think about all the time let's say you decided today that you want to go ahead lay down on your bed close your eyes visualize who you want to be in the future and you start picturing like i want to be rich i want to have this amount of money i want to have this amount of car and whenever you wake up from that process of closing your eyes right and you write down exactly what you want to begin what you visualize yourself being guess what you are going to become just that a lot of people hear this process of oh you become uh you know you uh, for you to become rich or for you to become the person you wish to become you have to first visualize it or you become what you think about people think oh it just uh, you know it's just a way of rich people to talk about it no it's called the power of manifestation right you you have to manifest it first you have to visualize it exactly who you want to become in the future and then start thinking about it speak about it right you know just stop talking about like oh it will be no start, start talking about it in the present right if you talk about it in the present it's going to happen you have to visualize exactly who you want to be in the future i have some people that were saying like well uh when i visual when i see a horror movie it's just a movie it's not going to affect my life or uh you are always watching crime all the time guess what you also could be reading a book that is talking about how to become rich but you chose somehow to watch something that you know you think is good for you or you think is going to make you happy and things like that i don't have nothing against horror movie but i'm just telling you exactly how what you do on a daily basis is going to affect your life right so start thinking in terms of what exactly who exactly do i want to become because the only difference between today and yesterday is you right because if you still stay in the same spot and hoping for a better tomorrow, guess what? Tomorrow is going to be the same. Jim Rohn always said that, right? Tomorrow is going to be the same unless you do something about it, unless you decide to change your life, unless you decide to limit exactly what you put in you and start absorbing more what you want. What exactly do you want? Do you want to be rich? Dear, did you know? Like Jim Brown said, do you know that there are people that are rich and that told you exactly in books or that tell you exactly in books how they became rich? Did you know that? Well, if you want to be rich, then you have to study what? Rich people. You have to study rich people. You have to study everything that a rich person does. And uh, you, uh, you, how do you go about it it goes one day at a time but what about one day what do you do you have to write it down like for example you want to reach a book called rich that poor that what do you want to do don't look at the whole book and say oh this is a lot of pages it's like 200 pages long like who's going to read all that what about just reading one page a day and soon enough when it become at when you become attracted to it or oh, when the book attracts you enough, guess what? You might want to start reading two pages, three pages, four pages, or maybe five pages. And soon enough, the book is going to be done. You have to take note now. You can't just read and not take a note. You have to take note exactly what did you learn, right? How do you go about it? How can you improve your life today with what you just learned? And from that book, you move on to another book. Like one of my favorite books is How to Make Friends, right? How to 
make friends and influence people that is the name of the book actually i really like that book it was written by dal i believe it's dal carnegie yeah if i recall it correctly dal carnegie wrote that book how to make friends and influence people and inside of it he talks exactly how you can get anything you want with your friends it's not magic it's just about studying people like for example people don't like when you are always on their back right you people sometimes like when they are expecting you to be mad and yet you come with a calm attitude and say tomorrow will be better always if you want something so bad from somebody try this today go there and instead of telling them what you want tell them why it will benefit it will be beneficial to them instead of talking about you so don't talk about you talk about them boost their ego everybody falls when you boost their ego in french they say uh, uh how do they say it in french to flatter you depend de celui qui l'écoute so meaning like if you want to earn anything you have to uh learn how to kiss somebody but and they will grant it to you don't be saying oh i cannot kiss anybody but like oh no it's not about begging it's about learning how to communicate with people and learning what other people want you receive more by giving so what exactly do you want to become you have to decide it right because think about it this way uh in order for you to obtain wine what do you have to do you have to crush grapes for wine in order for you to have diamond what is the process of having diamond it has to be pressure inside the earth in order for you to even gain uh, something like olive oil what do you have to do you have to crush olives in order for you to obtain this substance called olive oil right so seeds grow in the darkness you have to learn how to grow and that is the only way for you to succeed you have to learn how to grow you don't have to put uh, to let the whole world know about it i, I once saw somebody that said hey stay on your own for six months and you will see how powerful you will become and i thought it was a joke it's actually true when you stay quiet for six months you mind your business you read your book you're doing things that are productive in your life and you don't focus on other people but yourself guess what you will become incredibly 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 gifted with something you will get out of those six months with something and a lot of people will say oh six months is long no it's not long how long like what did you accomplish this year because we didn't accomplish anything last year and you think that's by magic it will happen this year guess what it's going to be the same what are you get getting ready for or how are you preparing 2024 well if you don't do anything about it the only difference between 2023 and 2024 is you you have to learn how to change to get exactly what you want that is just how life is right because uh somebody told me something that when you uh you reap what you sow and i was listening to uh jim run sorry if i'm you quoting jim run a lot is because to me as of right now until i meet other people him and there's in washington are to me the best motivational speaker i also like steve harvey but i like i listen a lot to jim Ro uh to jim run i know it's boring because he doesn't I guess maybe have a style that some people might like, but he's quiet about the way he talk, right? I think he makes me think and I want to become a motivational speaker just like him. But right now, it's all about you, right? So he said like, you don't always reap what you sow, which is true. Because if you plant seeds in the ground, like corn, for example, what comes out? The reason why you're planting seeds is so that you can get more back, right? You don't reap what you sow. You reap more than what you sow. Always reaping more than so. The reason why you are plant, you plant maybe one coconut in the ground is so that the tree can give you more coconut for years. Or the reason why you are planting, I don't know, uh, uh, one watermelon or two watermelon seeds in the ground. You don't only get one watermelon back. You get more. 
so the secret is you always get more than what you sow so what are you trying to you always get more than uh uh what you, uh yeah you reap what you sow so you always get more than what you reap so what are you trying to reap today think about it for a second and once you figure it out go about it be about it man be independent find your way always put god first and everything that you wish for will happen have faith also in yourself because whoever has faith can move mountains with his faith don't forget that i know i'm going gospel on you here i'm not the best 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 christian out there but i'm just telling you what works or what is working for me put god first anything you wish to become will become true follow uh, jim carrey where he talks about like oh you mean to say that if i write down something and i believe in it hard enough it become true yes it will become but one thing he's forgetting to let you know there is that you also have to put in some work for it to become true you can't just write a dream and put it in your pocket and hope that it will manifest you all like how did he get his acting job he was going to school and learning how to act and he wrote his, himself a check for 10 million dollars and he manifested through the acting job that he was already doing so it's not just about writing your dream down it's always about it's also about taking action that being said if you like this podcast episode feel free to go ahead and subscribe and please I'm just going to give uh, a shout out to, I saw this uh, lady online that was selling really, really good, good clothes for women. Obviously, I bought some for uh, me and my partner out there. The, the, the store was called Adiglam, like H-A-D-Y-G-L-A-M. Hardy Glam. So go ahead and check out that store, man. It looks like it's popping right now. Every single classy lady are going there and getting good clothing and good deal, especially for this Christmas time around. They are giving a lot of percentage off. I don't know how much. I'm just here to let you know. I'm supporting black business. If you also have your business that you wish for us to support, go ahead and write it down. I will take the name and I will talk about it in the podcast because we are being followed everywhere right now. That being said, don't forget forget to subscribe like and leave your comment if you have your story that you want us to share here on the podcast feel free to do so thank you and have a blessed and great day don't forget you are who you be uh, you become what you think thank you